first victim of Boston riots identified, here's what we know now. Apparently, the damage that done last weekend in Virginia just wasn't enough for protesters, since they've moved the party to Boston. A rally that was started on the premise of free speech was met with counter-protesters from the very beginning. The two sides that are growing increasingly more at odds with one another both seem to feel the need to be the louder voice. Unfortunately, just because they're the loudest or the strongest, doesn't make them right. Everyone is finding that out the hard way with the way these riots turned out. The two sides clashed, as usual, and those caught in the crossfire who were peacefully standing their ground suffered the most. Despite it being the dead of summer, those who were ashamed to show their faces in association with their cause came decked out in black with masks, and those carrying American flags and standing up for the purpose of keeping the rights that we already have weren't ready for war, but some of them got one. This is what happened to one elderly lady who was proudly displaying the American flag. She was assaulted and drugged by one of the thugs in masks and wearing black. Via Infowars Antifa protesters marching at a counter-protest in Boston Saturday assaulted a woman holding the American flag and proceeded to pull and drag her along. As seen in footage aired by Fox News. The woman is holding up the American flag while a group of black-clad anarchists marches by. One of the masked protesters then lashes out and hits the woman and attempts to steal her flag, but ends up dragging the woman along instead. The incident happened at a counter-protest in Boston where thousands of counter-protesters showed up to protest a relatively small free speech rally. Another video from the protest shows masked anarchists assaulting a Trump supporter. Violence from Antifa is nothing new. The leftist group was accused of hurling bottles filled with urine, feces and cement at a protest in Charlottesville last week, in addition to smashing people in the head with bike locks and glass bottles at previous events. Will the leftist media ever condemn this violence? The media seems to be totally on board with this violence. It's feeding into their narrative that the president is causing mayhem in the country. The problem with that theory is that the president isn't the one encouraging violence. He's gone out of his way to say that whatever you do, do it without breaking the law. Protesting is one thing, assault is another. What these Antifa groups are doing isn't fixing a problem, it's causing them. You might not like the neo-Nazis, I know I don't, but starting violence is literally doing what you're supposedly in opposition of. These riots and protests to the current administration may really get the liberals what they want. It may bully the rest of America into accepting a substitute as the leader of the free world, but at what cost? If we end up with a mob rule because of it, even if you get your short-term wish, the long-term damage is probably irreparable without significant loss of life. At this point, it's not longer about whether or not President Trump was fairly elected, which hopefully you know that he was. It's about whether the overgrown toddlers who are too afraid to show their faces will get their way. More on the events of this afternoon from the New York Post. Aerial video showed lines of police officers, some in riot gear and carrying billy clubs, advancing to push back crowds in Boston Common. By 2 p.m., the dozens who had gathered for the free speech rally, who have publicly distanced themselves from the neo-Nazis and white supremacists of Charlottesville, had left the commons. It was unclear whether the protesters were disbanding or planned to rally elsewhere. Earlier in the afternoon, there were numerous minor scuffles and shouting matches between the two sides. Boisterous counter-protesters chased a man with a Trump campaign banner and cap, shouting and swearing at him. Other counter-protesters quickly intervened on his behalf, helping the man safely over a fence to where the conservative rally was to be staged. Nearby, a shoving match erupted between an American flag-waving older woman and a counter-protester wearing the black garb of the Antifa anti-fascist group. Video captured the black-clad protester then trying to run off with the flag as she clung to it and ran after him. She stumbled and fell to the ground, Fox News reported. The Boston Free Speech Coalition, which organized Saturday's rally, say they are opposed to the white supremacist message and violence that erupted a week ago in Charlottesville. Saturday's speaker roster had included Joe Biggs, formerly of the right-wing conspiracy website Infowars, and Kyle Chapman, 
a California activist accused of beating counter-protesters at a pro-Trump rally in Berkeley earlier this year. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments.